Just how did this information get into this paper? My district. My district, more like ridiculous. Yes. <clears throat> it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good? It looks damn bad. I saw this footage. You saw? Why didn't I see it? I get it, I failed you. Igor, just please, don't relieve me of duty. Why didn't you remove it? I didn't make it due to family circumstances. All right. It's no use crossing swords now. Hmm. We need to fix this. Or else we would end up looking like complete idiots. Only the doorman could have done it. He said he had no one to replace him, so it must have been him. What for? What's in it for him? You know what? You'd better squeeze him and this paper here too. And if that doesn't work out, drag them here. He won't be easy to scare. He looks tough. But I promise to do everything. Apparently, the information leak had occurred before I went there. I see. You go and see that doorman. Go immediately. I'll go to the precinct first, then get down to it, alright? Alright. I'll tell the tech guys to check that woman in the database. I gave them everything yesterday. I'll go drop by and ask them. Dennis, I beg you. For you it's nothing, but it's important for me. CJSC, Polina and Dmitri Zhilin. Why do you need it, Sergey? Dennis, didn't I tell you? I have some marital issues with my wife. Yes, but I don't like how you want it off the record. Why? What's wrong with it? Can't you check the database yourself? I can, but I need more than an address. I need their files and some connections. And also, I have an urgent work task. And I don't? You do too. By the way, here you go. Try not to get bored. Run a facial recognition on this and maybe find something within the limits of um, the investigation. I'm counting on you. Hmm? Gotcha. As for the nature of the victim's injuries, I can clearly state the following. The first wound was in the groin artery. The second one, abdominal cavity, with an object that can cut and pierce. A knife. With an object that can cut and pierce. There's all sorts in my practice. Even a ruler can cut. That's the reason why, until I see the weapon and the detailed 3D imaging, I will assume it, it was just an object that can cut and pierce. A knife. The attacker had very specific skills, and knew that our victim would bleed to death. But the wounds are not deep. It even looks like a child did it. The attacker did not have a big muscle mass or physical strength. Could the attacker have been a woman? That is a possibility. Hmm. What's this world coming to? Here, and here.
Congratulations. Now, when a maniac grabs you by the neck, grab his arm, good, and hop, hop. Excellent. Now it's your turn. Uh-huh. Stand over here. Now the grip and hop, hey, and hop. Lisa, can I have a minute? Yes, of course. I'd like to see you in my office. Once more. Uh-huh. Held from behind, hop. Now grip, up and flip. Uh, Done. Uh, mm-hmm. Good. Stand there. Mm-hmm. Shoulder grab. Swipe down. Then knee. Uh, uh, one more time. I have a proposal for you. Okay, what is it? I want you to take over my position. What? I need you to leave the center. Are you going somewhere? For how long? Yes, there are some personal matters that have come up, and my grandmother badly needs my help. Oh, like taking a vacation? Mm, Something like that. And you'll be back in 30 days? Highly unlikely. Tim, is everything all right? Everything's fine. It was hard, but I made it. Lisa, I just bought this facility, and now it's the center's property. So you won't be having any problems with any bailiffs or anybody else. You're keeping something from me. You know that this center is my whole life. You're the only one I can trust. You have no idea what I sacrificed for it and what I had to pay. And you shouldn't. I know you won't let it fall apart. Because just like me, you hate all of those bastards who had been torturing and driving us women to suicide. You'll be fine. Tam, you don't need to worry. The French philosopher Jean Baudrillard called the modern times the age of hyperreality. The superstructure defines the basis. What's a superstructure? The superstructure is a state and law, as well as morality, religion, and art. With that said, Baudrillard (sighs) believed that labor does not actually produce, but only socializes. Mm. Varya! I'm home. Yes? <laughs> oh, Tim, hello. Good afternoon. Um, would you two like some tea? Yes, we would. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> May I help you? Good afternoon. Major Odinsov, operating team. I'd like to ask you a few questions. May I come in? Come on in, please. Thank you. What is surprising here, young man? They hired me, so I only did my job. Who hired you? I can't understand why you're so interested. There was this very strange gentleman. He's Ilya Tyshinsky. He invited me to a job interview and hired me. Tyshinsky. And why would he hire you specifically? Oh. My resume is posted on headhunting sites. Well, at my age, there aren't many job offers. You have to understand. So I reply to all job offers. Well, most of them. There are some jobs that I won't do. So you pick this job, not them? Well, something like that. That's right. So you chose this job? I chose this job. And I am telling you, I pass the interview. And I get hired. And then... Dishinsky told me that the work I was supposed to do had a short time frame. So what work were you supposed to do? Well, as usual, I would welcome visitors, maintain the books. Were there many visitors? Not really, just five or so. Is there a way to learn their addresses and contact details? No, there isn't. It had been agreed in advance. I would be the one to welcome the visitors, 
but only Mr. Ilya Tyshinsky would make appointments with them. Perhaps you may have kept some records? No, no, there were no records. That was also a part of our agreement. Once done, all documents must remain at the office after the job completion. Weren't you surprised with that? Young man, I survived the 90s. Hardly anything can surprise me anymore. I see. Uh, could you describe for me that Tashinsky of yours? Sergei, do I remember correctly? Why are you being so condescending? That of yours is not mine, nor yours. He's just a person. <laughs> all right, all right. I... Could you please describe that person to me? <laughs> he was relatively young. Compared to whom? Well, compared to me. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Murashov, I'm begging you. Could you be more specific? Well, I don't know. He looked like he was around 50 to 55 years old. He was skinny. Oh, he also had those funny <laughs> round orange glasses that he was wearing. And the mustache. A nice head of hair. There must have been something else, though. Oh, yes. He was wearing this marvelous perfume, and he's a lion. He's a social lion. Mm-hmm. Perhaps you could remember some unique traits he had, like his behavior or maybe some distinguishing features? Well, I don't know about that. Oh, I think he has a birthmark. He, he's got a birthmark here. <laughs> and also, he does like that, like that, like that. A habit? A nervous tick? I'm not sure, but he does it sometimes. To be completely honest, we sat in different rooms, so I wasn't watching him all the time. Mm. I see. It seems a lawyer is either a child or a dead man. I don't even know who to choose. Oh, no, he was afraid so much as to look at me. I understand that he got his appendage removed, but they didn't remove his brains. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, Sergey, you need to walk more to avoid adhesions. I thought I'd give him a hint to take a walk mm -hmm. with me. But he said to me, well, yes. The surgeon told me I already walked. <laughs> Just like that, he would say that. I even swapped shifts with my colleagues in order to stay with him longer. Oh, he... was he shy? No, no, no. <laughs> Turns out he was embarrassed to walk in sweatpants in front of me. <laughs> As if he doesn't parade them now. Well, now it is. Another thing. When a man wants to be liked by a woman, he dances a different dance. Right, Tim? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dad is calling. Say hi to him for us. Yes, Sergey. Hey, just... Dad! I love you, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Hear that? We were just gossiping about you. Uh, mm -hmm. eat first. <laughs> yes, now I know for sure that there is a connection between the murder of Markov and that journalist. It appears everyone who entered the office of that lawyer was doomed. Including myself? Yes, Helen, including yourself. The How are you, Sergey? The secretary said there were five people. So I'd like to seriously ask you not to go outside if you don't need to. Sergey, how can I not go outside at all? I have my shift in three days. And then again, what if Varya needs something? Food, medicine? I can't hide forever. It's not forever. You won't have to hide for long. Just until we know it's safe. Sergey. Sergey! <sighs> Helen, come have some donuts, or else we'll eat them all. You can go ahead. Enjoy your meal. I'm already full. You're driving me crazy. Everyone is doing it. Absolutely everyone. It's like a big conspiracy. Give me a break. You'll live a long and happy life. The only thing I want to know is how a journalist got hold of CCTV footage from the victim's house. Listen, mister. Well, well, sir, I don't know what your rank is. Major. 
Major, sir, there's a law that protects our source. Yes, and? The first law that crosses my mind is the one where you cooperate with law enforcement. You are binding my arms and legs here. We are the media. We have agreements. With whom? What agreements? You don't understand. It's something like a bank of mutual service. If I reveal this source to you now, then later on I won't be able to count on that source to... Listen carefully. If you insist on wasting my time, then don't expect to count on anything anymore. Obstructing the investigation. You know that's a crime. Got it? Tell me. Well, colleagues. Hmm? From the TV. Mm hmm. It's from Nikolas Izvekov. Why didn't he use it himself? I don't know. He said it would be more convenient. I see. Bank of mutual service, huh? Being a little naughty, aren't we? Well, what's the difference to you when others do the work for you and you get to enjoy the results? Mm-hmm. It appears we've gotten the same results. We must be drinking water from the same spring. I don't understand what you mean. Why does everybody think that the police force is full of dumbasses? <laughs> Isn't that the case? Listen, Izvikov, I have no idea who put that thought into your mind, and I don't know why you're so hostile. We're not enemies here. We both want this world to be a better place. Listen, I don't believe a single word that comes from your mouth. I loved Catherine. Yes, she didn't care about me, but I continued to love her. And I... The police don't care, do they? I can see that. That's why I will eradicate that evil on my own. You don't know me at all. Why are you smearing everyone with the same paint? They're all the same. A report about Catherine will come out soon, and then we will see who's smearing who with which paint. Your initiative can obstruct the real investigation that we're doing. Then sort out your investigation yourself! <sighs> All right, Izvikov. Let's handle this like adults. Both of us have vested interests in this case. And believe me when I say that I can be ruthless, too. To the point that the report about your beloved, pardon my mistake, your colleague will not see the light of day for another 20 years. You will not dare do this. You don't say. You want to try me? I do have some ideas as to who supplied you with the CCTV footage. But why did Markov's murder attract your interest? That is the question. But then again, Dorman Zhukov was not running around the city, offering the videotapes to everyone. Well, of course not. Nothing of the sort happened. Stop putting pressure on me. By the way, your information center is leaking info. Journalists use it in their work, take what they need. I read about this Markov guy and it blew my mind. He was sitting at the bar making eyes at Svetlov. Then he left and they found Catherine murdered in the bathroom. Afterwards, that man suddenly got knifed. Don't you think that it's very interesting? Yes, that is interesting indeed. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, good day. Hello. Good day. Good day. So, uh, what's next? Nothing much, really. You'll have to forgive me for poking my nose into other people's business, but I believe that if you are looking for some clues, you'd rather look at the recent lifestyle of Leonidas. Are you talking about his debts? Exactly. Well, you've already talked about it, Mr. Pavel Zotov. <laughs> well, forgive me. Being called here on short notice, I really couldn't come up with any other versions. I'm afraid there are people who can kill their bad debtors. Have you ever met any of them? <laughs> God was merciful. But I heard stories. Markov told you? You know, he asked me to pay his debt for him this one time. He seemed very afraid. 
Did you pay for him? What else could I have done? <laughs> Damn, I sent a letter to your address. Just sort out all the. Could you please describe the man you paid your money to? Of course. Mm hmm. An unpleasant looking skinny man. Weird thing about him. Either a gangster or a pimp. Large sums of money on a regular basis. From that CJS Polina. Here, over here. Hmm. Polina. Mm hmm. Well then, thank you for your time, Mr. Pavel Zotov. You're free to go. If you need me, just give me a call. See you later. Have a nice day. Yes, have a nice day. I'll get going then. Hmm? All right. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, my friends. Can you share with me the secrets of the Spanish court you have? I knew it. Well, I didn't. Dennis is not to blame. It was my request. And what request was that? Could I please tell you in private? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm listening carefully. Well, I have issues with Helen. Or rather, we have a problem. So, her ex has appeared. Terrorizing us. What do you mean he's terrorizing you? How serious is it? Nothing critical, but insufferable. He's calling, texting. Like, I love you, I can't live without you. Come or I'll kill you and myself. Do you need help? No, so far, it's under control. That's exactly why I needed certain information from Dennis. <clears throat> well, if you need me, just call. Your Helen is a beautiful woman. Yes, if I do, I'll call you, of course. By the way, about women. The forensic experts said that judging by the wound's nature, it's highly likely that the killer could be a woman. Well, we need to find out who she is so we can do a great job. Well, yes. <sighs> all right, I'll take a stroll to the buffet. I'm all stiff from sitting at this desk. Can I get you anything? No, it's okay. Will there be a massacre of the innocent? You live for now, so be useful. Simply show me what Sergei asked you to find for him. Hold on just a sec. It's Polina. Lower. Founder Leonidas Markov. Have you ever met him? Mm -hmm. Do you know this Zhilin guy? Mm -hmm. Helen, think carefully. I don't know who he is, except that I have to kill him. All right then. I wonder why this guy Dmitry Zhilin is receiving money. Something like a salary from Markov. And how could the firm founded by Markov have been involved in the murder of the same Markov? That's a good question. Well, the dead won't answer, and we don't have a live one. Look here, look here. It says that the firm shut down its operations. Now that's rich. Yesterday? Markov's already dead by then. We must find out about this Shilin as soon as possible. Well, the next agenda is you killing him. You won't do that, right? Sergei, stop joking around. <laughs> Helen... What else can I do? Don't you worry. I won't let anyone hurt you. Let them try and they'll see. I'm not afraid. Sergei, the umbrella? Take it just in case. I told you that he was coming. Good afternoon. Oh, Timothy, you're on time as always. And so, oh. you'll be in charge here. I'll take care of her for you. 
He sure will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Lock the doors and windows. Don't let anyone in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See you. Can we really trust that guy with Varya? Of course we can. He was able to carry your daughter up the stairs in his arms when she felt sick. But they're still children. Mm, children. Children that grow up so fast. <laughs> this is it. Oh, this is it. That's him. Uh-huh. I have to get into Jilin's flat. While you go after him. Track where he goes and who he's meeting, but stay on the street. Don't enter buildings, got it? Uh -huh. Right, take the wheel. Helen, please be careful and drive safely, mm hmm? Markov. This means he knows him. That's all we got. It was slow. Oh well. Hi. There. Hello, dear. <laughs> so, how much have you brought me today? Here you go. Huh? <laughs> oh, not much. Not much. Are you yeah. sure the clients are the problem? I don't know what they used I really to be. hope you do, sweetie. Yeah. Let's write this down. I'll make then. it up. Don't worry about it. 
Ready to order? Um, just coffee, please. That's it? Please mm -hmm. take a seat. <laughs> Dimitri, dear. Oh, look who's here. Hello there. Yona in the flesh. Let's see. Here. How much you got? You see? You have to watch and learn. From Milona. Why should I? She's bringing in the most cash. Well, she has her own clientele. Sergey, listen, it appears he's a pimp. I can't say I know much about pimps, but he looks like it. Yes, Helen, that's exactly it. It's getting too dangerous, so go home now. I understand, Sergey. I just feel that if I keep hiding, we won't find out anything. Perhaps you could call Sachi and ask him for help? What do you mean you won't find anything? We already found out that Markov had been Jilin's regular, and that's what he was paying for. And perhaps a woman that killed Markov was a former prostitute. What doesn't add up, though, is this firm, Polina. Why did it shut down so suddenly, immediately after its founder passed away? I'm going to Markov's apartment now. I'll try to see whether we missed something the first time we were there. Go on home, Helen. Go home immediately. It's too dangerous. Uh-huh. I, uh, I understood, Sergei. The signal is weak. Helen? I'll hang up. Hello? Huh? There's no need to shoot me. What are you doing here? And who let you into the apartment? Forgive me. I just... He had a guitar. And nobody wants it now. And I needed a string, so I thought I could... This place is sealed off because of the investigation. Do you understand that this makes you the prime suspect? Me? That's nonsense. I couldn't even... Major, sir. Please don't... Don't put it on me. Why did you give it to the journalist? I didn't do it. The guy already knew about the murder. Did he pay you for it? Do you want me to pay taxes for that? <laughs> what was up here? How should I know? I didn't hang it. Looks like dowel pins fitted for something. For what, though? You have a knife? Nope. Paper clip. I wonder what this is. Who is this? Ah, that's Polina. She was a good girl. She kept visiting the dead, and it seems they were sleeping together. You know. And next to her? There's a blotch. And because of it, I cannot identify the person. <sighs> Polina, Polina. <sighs> Polina again.
Helen. Sergey, I saw him get a gun. I told you to go home, didn't I? Do you even realize that you are in danger? According to the plan of an anonymous puppeteer, I am supposed to kill him. And Jilin will either be simply defending himself or he will kill someone. We just found him quicker. Damn, Helen. Listen to me. Don't do anything without me. Do you hear Sergey. me? Sergey. Listen to me. I'm on him. Helen, go home I'll now. keep you posted. Hello? Oh, hey there. You need a doctor or what? Oh, everything's fine. I just blacked out for a bit. That so? There's no need. Just tell me this. Did you find anything on the identity of that woman? Um, no. The system is still running. I'd rather it process faster. See you. Pick up the phone, Sergey. Yes, Helen. Sergey, he entered a courtyard with a gun. The building looks like a kindergarten. I sent you a screenshot with right. an address. Yes, I'm on my way there. Mm -hmm. See you. Good evening. Can I talk to Tamara? About what? <laughs> Regarding love and friendship with mutual benefits. She's not here yet. Will she be here? She promised to come back. She's leaving tomorrow. Her things are here. Uh-huh. Really? I see. I guess I missed her. I'm just gonna wait here. Would you like to wait inside instead? No need. I need some fresh air. Uh, do you even know what she looks like? Otherwise, you could just miss her. That's not happening, sir. Rest assured. Hey. You scared me. So, what have you got here? He's waiting for someone with a gun. Probably his victim. Well, he must kill her. I must kill him. Then someone will kill me. <sighs> Young lady, hold on a bit. Hey, are you Tamara? Yes. Um, I have a question for you. What is it? Just a second. That's the woman from the CCTV footage. Sergey! Young lady, run away! Run away from him! He came here to kill you! Don't move! Let the girl go! Don't come any closer! Put the gun down. Slowly, I'm gonna shoot put her. the gun down on the ground. And let her go, nice and easy. It's you who should put the gun down. I'm gonna shoot her! Calm down. I'll put it down, you see? I'm slowly putting the gun down on the ground. Just don't make any sudden movements. I'm unarmed Don't now. come any closer! Sergey! Sergey, the girl! 
I'm guilty. Calm down. You don't have to do this. I killed someone. I Please, don't know why. Young lady, don't do this. He was a bad person, but still a human. <laughs> don't run! Sergey! Freeze! Come here! Stop or I'll shoot! You're back here! I said freeze! Or I will shoot! Stop! My life had a lot of happiness and love in it. And then just like that, it ended. Like someone broke a dry branch. When I was a child, I never thought that there was evil in this world. Remember how jolly I was in my childhood? But what if a miracle happened, and all the people who had tortured me all this time would just disappear? Tamara. She's not the worst person that I have met. In essence, they're all normal, quiet people. They just kept treading me for some reason. <laughs> What the heck is going on here? Stop this instant! We just thought her for being haughty. Did you have to do it this way? Of course. Paulina, come to my office. Paulina, dear, do you understand that you're causing us trouble? But I didn't do anything! Those girls wanted to take my school back from me. I didn't let them. I understand. I know it's all very unpleasant, but you do understand that those girls come from troubled families, right? So what? I'm from a troubled family, too. My mother killed herself after my father's friend raped me. Are we trying to measure pain in here? Listen, it pains me so much to tell you this, but we will have to let you go. What do you mean? You need to leave. Why? But where should I go? Go back to your father. You said he was a hot-tempered man, but not evil. I can't do that. Please listen. You are from a wealthy family. And those girls there have never had a fraction of what you have. You still have a chance to fix your relationship with your father. Whereas those girls have nowhere to go. I have to sacrifice one for the greater good, for the rest of the majority. I'm willing to make that choice. So, I am that one. You heard me right. You're on my list now. And what kind of list is that? The list of people who spat on me. I don't know how, but I will definitely make you all pay. What nonsense. I went back to the streets, and then, then I got mixed up with Jilin again.